Portland, one killed as Trump supporters clash with BLM protesters. A large caravan of supporters of President Trump clashed with Black Lives Matter protesters in the streets of Portland. One person has died after being shot as a large procession of supporters of President Donald Trump clashed with Black Lives Matter protesters on the streets of Portland on Saturday, police said. Portland, in the U.S. state of Oregon, has been the site of nightly protests for more than three months since the police killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis. On Saturday, fights broke out as a caravan of about 600 vehicles was confronted by protesters in the city's downtown area. Portland police officers heard sounds of gunfire from the area of Southeast 3rd Avenue and Southwest Halder Street. They responded and located a victim with a gunshot wound to the chest. Medical responded and determined that the victim was deceased, the Portland Police Bureau said in a statement. Police did not release any additional details and were at the scene investigating late on Saturday. The caravan arrived downtown just as a protest planned for Saturday was getting underway. Police made several arrests before the shooting and advised residents to avoid the area. The caravan marked the third Saturday in a row that Trump supporters have rallied in the city. The chaotic scene came two days after Trump invoked Portland as a liberal city overrun with violence in a speech at the Republican National Convention as part of his law and order re-election campaign theme. The caravan had gathered earlier in the day at a suburban mall and drove as a group to the heart of Portland. As they arrived in the city, protesters attempted to stop them by standing in the street and blocking bridges. Videos from the scene showed sporadic fighting as well as Trump supporters firing paintball pellets at opponents and using the bear spray as counter-protesters threw things at the Trump caravan. Early Saturday morning, fires set outside a police union building that is a frequent site for protests prompted police to declare a riot. An accelerant was used to ignite a mattress and other debris that was laid against the door of the Portland Police Association building, police said in a statement. At least one dumpster had also been set on fire in the street nearby. The commotion followed a sit-in in the lobby of the Portland mayor's home Friday night, 